DJ TV. subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you'll be one of the first persons to know whenever we drop a new video now let's take you straight up to the main news nigeria government should get ready as a uk-based law firm takes over nandi kanu's case plus fresh attacks on all your community as nigeria immigration service accuses Sunday Igboho of trying to run out of the country. A UK-based law firm known as Bindsman have decided to take over Namdi Kanu's case as his counsel. At about the same time, the British High Commission is seeking Namdi Kanu's consent to take up his case. Now, according to a lawyer, Ejimako, who is uh, Namdi Kanu's lawyer, he said two forms were delivered to Mazin Namdi Kanu on Wednesday during a visit to the office of the DSS, which is the Department of State Services, where Mazin Namdi Kanu is being detained. Now, the case of Mazin Kanu has generated a lot of international interest. Remember that on the 27th of June 2021, he was arrested and extradited back to Nigeria on conditions that we do not know anything about and he was arraigned before uh, a Nigeria judge, Justice Binta Yanko, who uh, you know, adjourned his case till July 26th and 27th, a day that obviously would not hold because uh, the Nigerian courts are going on vacation. Now the Kano is facing an 11 count charge of terrorism, uh, treason, treasonable felony and some other charges. Now, according to Mazin Namdi Kanu's lawyer, Jimako, he said that when Mazin Kanu signs the two consent forms that were delivered to him uh, at the DSS office, that it will change the entire face of the case. Because first of all, the Nigerian government will be summoned to the United Kingdom and will be required to bring Mazin Namdi Kanu along. And then another case will be heard against Nigeria for, for extraditing Mazin Namdi Kanu illegally back to Nigeria. He said the two forms were from uh, the British High Commission uh, sitting, seeking consent for consular assistance to Mazin Namdi Kanu, while the second form is from a British law firm known as Bindsman, which is one of the largest law firms in the UK. And he has said that um, this would open a new chapter of legality. In his exact words, Ejimako said that it will open a new chapter of legality, including the filing of right of Madamos against the Nigerian government in a UK court to compel it to produce Kanu because his detention is illegal under the British law. It was an ordinary, extraordinary rendition, which is an international crime by which a state kidnaps a suspect or a fugitive without due process of the law. And he also said that they'll be filing all of these processes in the UK and there is a prospect of a UK court assuming universal jurisdiction or extraterritorial jurisdiction reaching into Kenya so that they can arrest every Kenya official, either authorized or not, and every Nigerian official who is involved in this case. Well, according to him, he said, uh, Mazin Namdekano is yet to sign the forms as officers of the DSS said that they have to go through the form to be sure that it is what the lawyer says it is. Ejimako said um, the DSS are yet to contact him uh, concerning the form because when they collected the form from him, they are promised that in the next 24 hours, they were going to call him back to carry the form straight to Mazin Namdi. Kanu. So he said, as soon as Mazin Nandi Kanu signs those consent forms, the case automatically changes our uh, course of play. Meanwhile, unknown gunmen dressed in military camouflage and customs uniforms have attacked three communities in Oyo State. Just a few weeks after 20 persons lost their lives in an attack involving uh, some Fulani headsmen and community farmers. According to some of the eyewitness reports, uh, some of the residents said that the attackers came in military camouflage and so at first they didn't know that they were not who they claimed to be. It was after two persons had already lost their lives, that was when they knew that these persons were not military persons, neither were they officials of the Nigerian customs. 
Mr. Oladira Oladoku, who is the uh, president of the Iganga Development Advocate, said that the attack was an attempt to invade the state through its border communities. He said when the attackers came into the community, they claimed that they were in search of those who were smuggling things into Nigeria illegally. He also confirmed that the attackers arrived in the community at around 8 p.m. on Friday night and attacked many areas. He said the local vigilante in the area uh, organized themselves and were able to repel the attackers out of the community. And they also informed members of the Amoteku Corps who were able to organize themselves and to fight back the invaders. But he said the commander of the Amoteku Corps in the Barakpa Central, known as Muri, lost his life in an attack where the uh, camouflaged gunmen were said to have entered the town in two Hilos vans and an 18 seater armor bus and a Toyota Sienna bus wearing military and customs camouflage in a bid to deceive the uh, residents of the community. It will be recalled that in early February of 2021, that Sunday Igbo had asked the Fulani headsmen in the Barakwa community and the Gaga area to leave the community as soon as possible. And only recently, the heads of the Fulani communities in these areas were uh, chased out of the communities owing to their involvement with kidnappers in the area. Police operatives have said that when the, when the assailant passed them at the Ofika River, that they thought that they were actually customs and army operatives because they were putting on military uniforms and customs uniforms. And that was why they allowed them to gain access into the town. That they were not aware that, we, that they were not who they claimed to be. But they have swung into action to ensure that they arrest every one of them. In another development, the Nigeria Immigration Service have said that Chief Sunday Adeyemo, also known as Sunday Igbo, is trying to acquire a new passport so that he can travel out of the country. And I've put him on a stop list. Now, a stop list is a kind of security code in which a person whose name appears on it is denied every constitutional right and privileges that a citizen of that country is entitled to. Now, a letter which was added by the federal government have said that Igboho is now on stop list in order to facilitate his arrest, and they have directed that anywhere he is seen around the country, he should be arrested. Let's remember that on the 1st of July 2021, we brought you news that the house of Chief Sunday Adeyemo, also known as Sunday Boho, was raided by members of the DSS and he, he was able to escape narrowly from that attack. And they also accused him of stockpiling arms in which to destabilize the nation. But Sunday Boho has said that is not the case. And also, he has dragged the federal government to the International Criminal Court. Now, the um, Nigeria Immigration Service is saying he's trying to get police extract and warrants to enable him get another passport so that he can't leave the country. So in a new law, uh, the Director General of the Department of State Services said that he should be arrested wherever and whenever he is cited. Now the Kanu's case is beginning to gain more international relevance as the day goes by. Uh, the UK government is about to change the tune of the music as soon as Mazinan Dekanu signs the consent form and that will require that the case can no longer be heard in Nigeria. Rather, in another court in the UK will hear the case and another judge will preside over the case, arresting every Nigerian and Kenyan official involved in the arrest and illegal extradition of Mazi Namdekano. As well as Igboho is now placed on stop list in Nigeria, meaning he should be arrested on site. What are your thoughts and comments concerning these issues we have raised? Welcome back. Thank you so much for staying with us till the end of this video. But before we go, we just want to let you know that we're also on Facebook and on Instagram at DJMTV. Also check out our website at www.djmtv.news. There we drop news 247 non-stop. Do not forget that you can also place your advert with us here on DJMTV News and be rest assured that your business will get to the desired market. Well, so we'll come your way again with another edition of DJMTV Daily News Update. I remain your host, Laura Favor. Yeah. DJ TV. DJ TV.
DJ TV.